So, we've added a new widget into the Komodo status bar, it's called breadcrumbs. So if I right click on the file entry, it gives me the, my current file actions. As well, I can click on any of the parent items and that will give me access to the directory above this item. And I can easily navigate this structure to open up another file. And as I change files, the actual breadcrumb will update itself. Currently it's showing me the uh, relative location from my project, but as I switch to another file, it'll now show me the relative location from the root drive. And I can click on other items in the tree, and I can click on them to open them. Another great feature about breadcrumbs is that you can use the keyboard to access and drive them. So here I'm using the keyboard to open the menu, and then I can quickly filter down to my exact item I wish to open. So it's very quick and easy to use from the keyboard as well. Komodo has the ability to use a dark editor background for a while now, and you can change this in your fonts and colors preferences. So let's choose a dark color scheme here. Now this uh, affects the editor itself, but what's new in Komodo 8.5 is we've also added skins. And this is the ability to actually uh, change the theme of the whole Komodo interface. And we've added a new skin called Abyss. So I'll just give you a, a show of what that looks like. Now it changes the colors of the toolbars, the, uh, the text and the, the icons, and basically the, the whole interface of Komodo is now changed. So anybody who likes using a dark background theme will love the new Abyss color theme in Komodo. A great new feature we've added to Komodo 8.5 is the code refactoring. So this is where I can actually start renaming elements in my code without having to use a uh, find and replace like dialog. So if I wanted to rename element, I can right click, refactoring, rename variable, and then all the instances of that variable are updated. And as I type, I can change that. So if I change it to node, then all the instances change as I type. So that's uh, really useful and speeds up code refactoring inside of your Komodo editor. So being able to rename variables is great, but uh, Komodo takes it one step further and also allows you to uh, change the names of class instances. So looking at this PHP class, I have class foo, and class bar, and I'm going to rename the foo display function. So I use refactoring, rename class member, and I can change the name, and I can actually customize where Komodo will search as well as the type of files it will examine. So as I perform the check, it shows me every occurrences. You can see here some of these are checked and some of these are not, and I'll go over why. So this is the, the file path and this is the content and so you can see that where an instance has called display it has now been updated to what I changed it to echo variables and it's hit the actual uh, function inside of uh, class foo but on line 30 which is in class bar it hasn't updated it and that's correct but you can also tell it to update those as well. So it, it's more than just finding the instances, it also finds other occurrences nearby that you may want to change as well. And uh, for example in comments, I can change those as well. And then I'll go and update. And the third feature we've added to code refactoring in Komodo is the ability to create new methods from a selection of code. So if I select this piece of code in the display function and want to move that to a new function, I use refactoring, extract method, give it a new name, and that'll be moved into a, a new function call. And the display method, where the code used to be, will now be updated to call that method. You'll notice that the method extraction is uh, quite smart. So if I'm selecting 
code that uses uh, variables that have been passed in. For here, the dollar extras is a function argument, and dollar temp is a local variable. As I used refactoring extract method, then Komodo is smart enough to determine that the dollar temp was a local variable, but it was only used inside of the scope I had selected, so it doesn't have to create a new argument for that. Whereas extras, it was being used outside of my selection, and so it passes that as an additional argument. In Komodo, you can now define multiple selections. So if I wanted to uh, start selecting more than one selection, I can use select, multiple selection add, and then from then I can use control or command on the Mac to make additional selections. And what this means is every one of these locations that I create, I can now type in and it will update all the, all the uh, selections I have made. If you're doing this operation a lot of times, then you'll find it's a little bit cumbersome. So we've also added the ability to quickly select the next occurrence. So multiple selection, add next occurrence, and then I can use control D to keep selecting additional entries. And that makes it very easy to select common text and be able to change it.